Okay, let's talk about the algebra behind stretching and compressing these guys. What we saw before is we just took the shape and we moved it around. That's born. Okay? Let's go to the house of mirrors. That's what this is all about, the house of mirrors. And that's when you have something like this. When you have some multiple, some scalar multiple in front of your function, that's going to affect you vertically. So here's the thing. If the absolute value of that guy is greater than 1, that means that you have a stretch. But if this absolute value is less than 1, of course you have to make sure this is greater than 0, of course, that means we have a compression. Now we're going to be looking at these from a vertical perspective. Okay, so that means when I talk about stretching, I mean taking a picture and stretching it out, or taking the picture that you have and squishing it. That's what we're talking about for stretch and compression. So let me talk to you about a, a few examples. If I have f of x is equal to two fifths the absolute value of x. Notice that this guy is your main function, it's the absolute value. This two fifths is going to be, well you tell me, is it greater than or is it greater or smaller than one? It's less than one, so that means I'm going to have a I'm going to have a compression. My basic shape is this V shape, right? And what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to make it even less steep. I'm going to compress that guy. That's what that two-fifths means. So, okay. All right? Not okay. Well, compression depends on which way you're looking at it. But I said a vertical compression. Vertical compression. So when I'm talking about stretching and compressing, I'm talking about doing... Top down? Yes. Okay. Not, not side to side, but Compress, Is all the compression stretch. Vertical? No, there can be horizontal compression. I'm just not really going to okay. look at that so all much. So all, all compression for as far as we're concerned? What we're concerned vertical? with, yes. Okay. That's where you see a more direct application with things that goes beyond what we see here. Okay. If I were to have negative three times the square root of x. Wait, wait, a negative? What, what, what did I just do? <laughs> Here's something else for us to remember. The negative means that you're going to turn your shape upside down. Just like if you have a, like this. This would be a positive slope, right? If I put a negative in front of it, what does it do to this guy? it turns it upside down, and so it's going down, right? Now, what does this 3 mean, though? Okay. This means it's going to be a stretch, so it will be going down because of the negative, but the 3 is going to make it go even steeper. But isn't negative 3 less than The absolute value of 3 is greater than 1. When I talk about a stretch or a compression, it's the absolute value of that multiple. No matter what the sign is. Right. If I have this... Basically, it's a fraction or, or 0. And if it's a fraction or a 0, that's the only way you're going to be less than, no, zero, less than 1. No, we've we got to be careful because what if, what if this said 5 halves? Okay. If it was, so if it's a proper fraction... Yes, it's going to be a compression. If it's an improper fraction or, you know, something greater than one, we're okay. So if I had the three, it's a stretch. If I have a negative three, it's a stretch. The only thing that's different between the shape for a three or a negative three is its location. So this is if it's positive. But if it's a negative, you're going to be opening down like that. That's the only difference between a positive or a negative. 
So let's quickly run through a few more examples and see if you can figure out what you would have here. f of x is equal to 1 half x squared. What kind of shape do you have? It's a parabola that has been compressed. Now think about what it would look like if you were to compress this. If you went into a house of mirrors, if, I mean, I don't know if those things still exist. Maybe you need to go watch a movie from the 70s or 80s to see what I'm talking about. <laughs> but some of the mirrors would make you look tall and skinny, right? Mm -hmm. That would be a stretch, right? Doesn't that stretch your image? What if there was an image that would a uh, mirror that would compress your reflection. What does it make you look like? It makes me look like I'm short and fat. Hello! They're going to come destroy stuff, right? I don't know why I use that voice. I just, <laughs> I just imagine if I were sh shorter and, and fatter than me, I would kind of you know, waddle around like, I don't know, some stereotypical person that you see on a movie or TLC. These, don't worry, these videos will not be uploaded. <laughs> yeah, these, these, are, these are just practice runs. Huh? I'll make them look better next year. Oh, welcome back. <laughs> Negative 2 times the absolute value of x. What's the shape for the absolute value of x? Well, the normal shape is a v, right? But it's going to be turned upside down, and it's going to be even... <coughs> Steeper, right? Yep. So now it's time to put our money where our mouth is, right? Let's see what the graphs really look like. <laughs> 